Hello there, it's Kevin, the handyman half of Goblins of Creation, and today I'm going to do a very, well, for me, very big pour, the biggest I've ever done. It's 40 by 30 inches rather than the 40 by 30 centimeters that I'm used to, so two and a half times the size. Um, just to be uh, really confusing, I'm going to be using a black funnel uh, with a base coat of black on a black canvas. So the colours will appear miraculously from the base of the uh, invisible funnel. The colours I've gone for this time is a mixture of metallics, uh, a mixture of blues and a pink to, uh, to have a nice bit of contrast. The colours I'm using are Hobbycraft Copper, which I've not used before. The uh, System Free Daily Rowney Gold, that's the uh, rich gold. The Daily Rowney System Free Ultramarine, Fluorescent Blue and Fluorescent Pink. The lovely light blue, there is another Hobbycraft acrylic. This one's called Pearly Blue. Now, as you can see, I put my paints in the funnel and I'm just tapping it gently so that the paint slides underneath the base coat. And I've made a little tool so that I can pop it in and move the stuff across so I haven't got that, that uh, lovely uh, attempt not to drip across the canvas. Though, funny enough saying that, I did manage to get a drip on the canvas. The other advantage is with the, uh, the plug in it, you can fill the cup and uh, release the plug at the right time rather than uh, be concerned about where you have put the end of the funnel. You can move it around and then pull the plug out when you're ready to go. So I've sped this bit up because it's going to be rather repetitive. I'm basically doing four pours across the canvas. When I did the fourth one, I suddenly realized that there was a lot of canvas. Uh, so I decided that since I still had some paint left, I would do a pour to the left and the right in that, in that empty space. And uh, yeah, I used a lot of paint. I probably used the best part of a liter of black. And considering those are 300 mil cups and I, they were all three quarters full, uh, oh, I, I also put some silicon oil into my normal flow troll water acrylic mix uh, into those cups. Uh, we're probably looking at uh, over over uh, yeah over a kilo of paint on the surface. Uh, that's uh, uh, over two pounds of paint in old money. I had to put in a lot of uh, black paint just to to give it something to flow onto. If, the, if there is a, a, a ratio for uh, how much paint to use in pouring, I, I've not managed to get it right so far. Though, you know, practice makes perfect. The sheer uh, size of, of the board and, and that wobble you can see did make it quite hard to control the paint, uh, which is one of the reasons that I kept it fairly thick and kept the black paint close to the uh, close to the, the other colors rather than what i would normally do which is spread it sort of evenly across the canvas the idea here is really to stretch uh, that kilo and a bit of paint so that it will cover the entire canvas i'm going to speed this up a bit because again gets pretty boring and for a lot of the time you're going to be looking at the bottom of the canvas and I'm really very nervous at this point uh, when you start a piece like this uh, you know with the canvas and the paints and the, the medium and even the silicon oil it, that's probably the best part of uh, 50 pounds worth of, uh, of materials there that you could you know, basically waste uh, well so you wouldn't be wasting the canvas, you could reuse that, but the, the, that would be it for all the paints and the silicon oil and the uh, flow troll. But I just beginning to get a nice feeling about this. The, 
I'd already, f <laughs> as I said, I was very nervous. I did forget when I, I completed the six uh, funnel pulls to get my flamethrower out and uh, do my normal fire uh, across the uh, across the paint to, to get rid of any bubbles and to start the cells forming. And so I thought, uh, right, it was about here I remembered, and I decided what I'll do is I'll finish stretching it and then I will fire it. Unfortunately, uh, the camera decided that it had had quite enough of of my fun, and very shortly it will stop working. So uh, you're going to miss the flames, and I will give you a couple of close-ups of the, the finished uh, canvas to make up for it. And if you're interested in how I made my little uh, my little tool, or if you want to see the finished uh, piece. In another video, uh, please uh, drop a comment below. Thank you very much.